Well, first of all, Johnny, I'd like to thank you very much for coming in. Oh, sure. sure. I've been a big fan for many years, and I'm happy to have you in my office. Absolutely. I mean, I, I, likewise. Uh, I've been a huge fan for, right. you know, most of your career. Likewise. So this is a, this is a new piece, so, uh, you know, tell me about it. So I'm interested in exploring a, a, a number of themes here. Yeah. First of all, uh, you play 15 different versions Love of a man named Ron Shaw. That's genius. Searching for the, the memory of his wife's twins, wow. clones, wow. clones, memory um, of you. That's incredible. And you're sort of um, captain of the um, CIA of the multiverse. Okay. Solving crimes that, that cross universes. Wow. Chasing a criminal that only exists in the past or future, yeah. never the present moment. The universe uh, police, it's, uh, I, I like it a lot. I, I, the I like primary lot. question of the film is, if God was to dream in reverse, would the concept of time then be yeah. unconceived? Well, no, that's, yeah. And to find the that's answer to that, Rom has to go on a bunch a bunch of motorcycle chases. That makes total sense. The climax being a groundbreaking fight in space using a sort of moon karate. Right. A sequence we are going to film in one take. Absolutely. On the moon. Wow. Yeah, well, what if... Uh, Absolutely, let me hear you know, your I'm ideas. I'm just thinking off the top of my head right now. Um, what if instead of a, a sort of button-down, normal uh, police character he was sort of a you know more of a weirdo you know more of a a strange guy oh, yeah. you know, like maybe maybe he had his his hat just tipped a little bit and he sits like he's like hello i'm rom show captain oh, yeah. of the yeah. universe i mean it could be that or it could be it could be even more just like more like hello i'm rom show oh, yeah. i'm rom show well, oh, hold on a second uh, you know you'd want his voice to be uh um, well, he'd definitely be, be British. Yes. Um, you know, what do you think of that? Or, or, you know, he could even be you know, really kind of, you know, like have his oh, glasses. Oh, Hello. That's fantastic. I am Ron Shaw. Very silly. Of the universe. Those are oh, all very yeah. silly, John. I'd have to read the script. I'm obviously now, not I, I think all those ideas the are. the word you oh, wrote. Oh, but, oh, um, you know, I saw what uh, McConaughey did in um, Inception. Um, you know, but yes, cheers. It was good. But what if, what if McConaughey's character had been more kind of like... Uh, Let's land this spaceship! Funny voices, I'm 100%. He's, he's, I think he's, uh, I mean, McConaughey he's a never, actor, never um, offered that uh, sort of option to me, but um, we can talk about sure. it. It can be super weird, it can be sort of medium sure. weird. This film is actually going to be a sequel wow. to a film that doesn't exist wow. yet. Wow. This so, sequel will be made in such a way the audience will feel as though they have a memory. I mean, that's crazy. Or perhaps they've dreamt the first film. It's mind-boggling. It's, it's, it's really I great. will then make the first film to show them that everything they thought they knew was wrong. You know, I feel like... And it will be a trilogy. I'm just in pieces and I need to sort of... I mean, really, really we want to confuse the hell out of people. I'm absolutely in. Because the story will be told in, um, in reverse. In from reverse, end well. to beginning. Right. But then back again, from beginning to end, and then finally back yeah. again. Wow. wow.